Tokyo Electric Power Company says most of the fuel rods in the number one reactor at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant had dropped to the bottom of the pressure vessel within 16 hours of the earthquake on March 11th. I mean, can you ever really trust another human being, Greg? Sure, I think so. No, the answer is you cannot. Tokyo Electric Power Company says most of the fuel rods in the number one reactor at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant had dropped to the bottom of the pressure vessel within 16 hours of the earthquake on March 11th. The plant operator revealed its findings on Sunday. TEPCO says it analyzed the data and calculated a timeline for developments in the number one reactor on the assumption that it lost its cooling system as soon as the tsunami hit. The firm says that within three hours of the reactor automatically shutting down, cooling water had evaporated to the level of the top of the fuel rods. TEPCO believes that in the next hour and a half, parts of the rods began melting. Good luck in prison. The temperature of the rods is believed to have reached 2,800 degrees Celsius at that stage, and the meltdown advanced rapidly. Almost all of the rods partially melted and dropped to the bottom of the pressure vessel by 6.50 a.m. on March 12th. TEPCO says the temperature dropped after water was poured into the reactor starting at 5.50 a.m. the same day. The firm says the melted rods created small holes in the bottom of the vessel, but that no major problems are developing there. They want Howard to go on spontaneously letting out his anger. A latter-day prophet denouncing the hypocrisies of our time. It believes the amount of radioactive substances that could spread from the reactor will be limited. Radioactive materials in the ocean near the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant rose to over 3,000 times the legal limit on Sunday. Tokyo Electric Power Company says it measured 200 becquerels of cesium-134 per cubic centimeter on Sunday morning near the water intake of the number three reactor. The level was 3,300 times the legal limit and it was higher than on the previous day or rather, it was higher than on the previous day when it was 2,300 times the legal limit. 220 becquerels of cesium-137 per cubic centimeter was also detected. At 2,400 times the legal limit, the level exceeded the one found the day before. On Wednesday, highly radioactive water was found leaking into the ocean from a pit located near the water intake of the number three reactor. 32,000 times the legal limit of cesium-134 was detected there. TEPCO says the changes in readings are within a margin of day-to-day -day volatility. The company will continue to monitor radioactive levels near the plant. At the Hamaoka nuclear power plant in central Japan, seawater has been found in the coolant system of one reactor. The operator of the plant says 400 tons of seawater may have mixed into the cooling water. Good luck in prison. All five nuclear reactors at the Hamaoka plant in Omaezaki City, Shizuoka Prefecture, were shut down on Saturday due to concern that a massive earthquake might hit the area. The move was in line with a request by Prime Minister Naoto Kan. In the course of shutdown, plant operator Chubu Electric Power Company found impure substances in coolant water at the number 5 reactor. The company reports damage to a duct connected to a condenser, a system that turns the steam generated by a nuclear reactor to water through the use of seawater. It says 400 tons of seawater would not severely affect the reactor and that no radioactive substances were detected outside the building. Ow! Ref, what's the matter with your whistle? Well, technically, Nancy, Ref can't call a foul. Shane was kicked by his own teammates. But in order to prevent the reactor being eroded by seawater, the operator will take measures to remove salt from the cooling water. TEPCO will fix gauges in two of the reactors at the Fukushima plant to determine precise water levels. TEPCO says the gauges at the number two and three reactors might not be showing the actual water levels and that the worst case is that the rods have melted down. Well, <laughs> did some surgery here and took off the inlet, but uh, like Goma Powell would say, it's a brown, it's a brown.
with the crash. The company says the temperatures of the, of the two reactors are stable, so it can proceed with cooling them, even if it finds that meltdown took place. TEPCO says workers will go into the reactor buildings and fix the gauges, getting the precise data on water levels needed to continue cooling the reactors. But conditions inside the buildings are not known, and the operation will be difficult. TEPCO says the March 15th explosion at the number 4 reactor building may have been caused by hydrogen from the number 3 reactor. The utility initially thought the explosion was triggered by hydrogen produced by damaged spent fuel rods in a pool inside the number 4 reactor building. But photographs of the pool taken in April show no damage to the rods. After investigating the cause of the explosion and fires, the company explained that when gas was vented from the number 3 reactor through the duct, hydrogen may have seeped into the number 4 reactor building. Their analysis indicates that accumulated hydrogen in the upper part of the number 4 reactor building may have caused the explosion. Some experts have suggested that oil in the reactor building could have been one of the reasons for the blast. TEPCO says that oil may have triggered fires after the blast. The utility says it will continue its investigation. Could you hear everything? Yes. Well, you seem confused. Well, I don't know why you asked me to come here. I thought it was obvious. No, not really. You... What you're trying to say is that I lied to your husband. That's correct, Mrs. Kennicott. I even went so far as to falsify the report. Evacuation began on Sunday of residents of two municipalities just outside the 20-kilometer no-entry zone around the troubled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. They've been asked to leave by the end of May. The Japanese government expanded the evacuation zone around the plant to areas where cumulative radiation levels are 20 millisieverts or higher per year. Families with babies and children under six years old and pregnant women are the first of the 7,700 residents of the two municipalities to evacuate. Eight families in Kawamata town gathered at the community center to attend a departure ceremony on Sunday. They received keys to temporary housing and donated supplies such as blankets. <laughs> All the residents of Itate village are to leave. On Sunday morning, some of them were busy packing. Some families are unable to move together to designated temporary housing or cannot decide on the place to go as they would end up far from work or school. Municipal officials say they have secured temporary housing for almost all of the residents who want it. Know me? What the fuck? You A massive hollow floating platform is being transported to Fukushima to hold radioactive water from the troubled nuclear power plant. The steel platform departed from the port of Yokohama near Tokyo on Sunday morning. It is 136 meters long and 46 meters wide and can store up to 10,000 tons of water. The platform was provided to Tokyo Electric Power Company by Shizuoka City, where it was used as a fishing park. During one month of refitting at a Yokohama shipyard, it was made watertight and rust resistant. A large crane was mounted and pipes attached. The platform is scheduled to arrive off the coast of the Fukushima plant in one to two weeks after final inspection at a nearby port. Некоторые в Тбилиси считают, что Москва словами Геннадия Онищенко о допуске грузинских вин на российский рынок выкидывает белый флаг перед Грузией, от которой зависит вступление России во Всемирную торговую организацию. Что бы вы сказали по этому поводу? Никакого белого флага нету. Не надейтесь. Ни перед кем никогда мы не склоняли голову. Перед нами склоняли голову все великие державы. И Китай, и Япония, Германия, Франция, и том, в том числе и США. А допуск ВИН, я думаю, что здесь проблема в целом общая. Мы прекращали допуск на наш рынок любых товаров. 
и с Молдавией, и с Белоруссией, поэтому прямой связи да, но Владимир с Вольфович. отношением Грузии и вступлением России в ВТО и проблемами, связанными с каким-то экспортом в Россию, я думаю, нету. Рычагов достаточно у России, чтобы повлиять на Грузию и получить от нее нужное для России решение. С винами, без вин, с таможней, без таможни. Решение будет найдено. Об этом договорятся в Вашингтоне и в Москве. В Брюсселе и в Китае, в Пекине. Только четыре столицы в мире. Вашингтон, Брюссель, Москва, Пекин. Все. Четыре столицы. Больше никто ни на что влиять не может. И лишний игрок в международных отношениях. Четыре столицы всегда договорятся. Обама, представитель Евросоюза, Медведев, представитель Китая. Все, они вчетвером договорятся. При этом китайцы приедут в Москву, согласятся с позицией Москвы. Европейцы приедут в Москву, согласятся с позицией Москвы. И американцы приедут в Москву, как Байден сейчас был. И обо всем договорятся. Проблем нету. Все решают только четыре столицы. При этом Вашингтон не имеет будущего. Америка искусственное государство рухнет. Европа старая, так сказать, уже континент, который никакой роли не играет. Китай на пороге взрыва. И остается космическая держава Россия с огромными деньгами, ресурсами и новым оружием, о котором еще никто не знает. Любую часть планеты уничтожим в течение 15 минут. Ни одного взрыва, ни одного, так сказать, всплеска там, луча какого-то лазерного, там, молния. Нет, тихо, спокойненько. Целые континенты будут спать вечным сном. А может вы нам и подробнее останется, расскажете, как вы собираетесь это легкой, делать? Все остальное. Вот цунами сейчас, Япония. Вы курилы хотели? Вот вы будете разбирать обломки всех ваших зданий. И сдохните все 120 миллионов, если вы еще потребуете курила от нас. Так и все остальные. Пусть подумают о своем будущем. О своем будущем пусть думают. Тоже мне еще грузинские вина и там какие-то наблюдатели. Они хотят, чтобы забыли слово «Грузия» в мире. И будет русско-турецкая граница. Вот подумайте, пускай Сакашвили об этом. То цунами будет другое. В другой части.